I've decided that I'm only going to worry about uh, trying to convert the culture of uh, vassals of, or uh, the culture of king level vassals and their children. So uh, I did notice that the Hashemids have a kid who can be educated by Egyptians. Teach them how to talk and walk like an Egyptian. I'm sorry. Um, looking for diligent and gregarious, but I don't have anyone diligent and gregarious. Diligent or gregarious, it looks like. But, uh. Oh, there's a gregarious. Uh, let's go with that. We will. Says who? Some kid? No, he must learn on his own. He accepts the guardianship contract. Let's ask to change it to heritage. Ask it to change his focus, childhood focus to heritage. And I don't think the Mahalabids, no, I thought someone else did, but um, I did notice something else, and that is this guy's Sunni. So I'm going to try to revoke his title, because he's an infidel, or a heretic, really. Uh, and I passed the religious revocation law uh, the last time I was able to do that. 876 before, before we can pass another one. So I'm going to try to revoke all of his titles, really. We'll see what he says. He says maybe, but uh, he will be taught well. Nope, he says no. We are going to go to war with him then. I'm going to revoke his title as well. He'll say yes, though. Uh, I'm not going to revoke it yet, though. Let's raise vassal levies over here. Anti-Atlas. How many troops does he have? 4.5k, that's probably the majority of his army. What's going on here? It's weird. That's not the Sultan of Africa's land right now. It's actually being incorporated de jour into the uh, Kingdom of Mauritania. Let's raise ships. Oh, those are those are the only ones I can raise on uh, in the Mediterranean because there is a revolt going on. May as well take my retinue over, I think. Uh, as well as my personal levy, if I can manage to fit all of them on boats. Uh, let's get rid of the Sunni Quran. Move our Vassalovies and to Almeria. Raise this guy's little little uh, army as well. That's enough to carry all of our troops. I'm not going to combine my retinue and my personal levy, but I will put them all on the boat together. 
bomb area. Uh, he wants to marry my sister. No, let's not have that happen. I'll send my retinue in. We need more commanders, apparently. The Emir of Novatia, Emir of Galilee. We've got a lot of cruel people, apparently. We'll put those guys, uh, we'll put that guy in charge. All right, we'll see if he is willing to stay in charge. It looks like yes. Good. Well, we should be able to destroy his armies. Sultan Ismail II approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. It would require some gold and your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. So, surprise, so be it surprising. It takes uh, quite a bit of money. What's going on? Open council positions. We need a new court noir. Uh, I will invite a holy man because I know they won't be a uh, part of a secret cult or anything. We'll invite three. Total. Kind of all suck. Take him, and he can search for apostates like we want him to. I can... We captured Emir Margado of Aragon. I can imprison my wife. I think it was my wife, anyway. Um, let's chase after his army with... Actually, uh, let's separate off enough that we fit on the boats. And just go right into his capital and sit on it. Chase after him as well. I will send him a gift just to keep him out of factions. Well, you will attack up a mountain, I guess. During transfer of power, somebody lost his golden bracelet. My one of my wards becomes Egyptian. Provided he stays Egyptian, that's really good. He wants my half-sister and my cousin to marry. He's a prince of Syria. He's not the heir, but uh, I'm going to say no. Hold on. Um, go back to him, if we can. Can I revoke his titles? I can revoke one of them. But uh, I'm not going to. Chase after his army some more. Send the ships away. They can be disbanded. Burn this guy. Assault more holdings. Go to Terragona. Actually, go to Lita.
my wife is pregnant. Hopefully this will be a generation with more sons than daughters. Almeria is revolting. Hopefully the Umayyads can handle that. She's probably going up to Alto Aragon. No. Navarre or Najera then. Assault. 80%. And Paris is also his. We'll disband the ships, like I said I was going to do. There's really no rush to finish this war, other than the possibility that the people to the north might declare war on him. But, uh... We've captured somebody, captured a couple people. I'm going to guess he's going to Urgell. Maybe. It's just a guess. Um, marital bliss wants to marry my daughter. You know what? Sure, go for it. Get everyone to stop asking for asking to. Uh, they are already asked, he's already being asked to leave the plot or stop the plot. And this war will be over. But because it was a technically a defensive war, because he refused to go to prison, or he refused to give up his titles, um, his bandies, and these guys can walk back. If we need them faster, then we'll use boats to bring them back. But now we can revoke this guy's titles because he is. One, a traitor, two, also Sunni. Openly Sunni. Oops. Sheikdom of Bar Barcelona. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, for a second that scared me. But no. Um. Now I want to do something else, and that is revoke this emirate, as much as I don't really want to. He agrees. Um, this is my cousin. Who cares? Search realm for men not in prison. Any marriage. Ruler, no. Diplo range any my religion, my culture, adult. E any? It doesn't really matter. Um, great house. Any? Hey, it's the heir to the Hashemid Sultanate. He became Egyptian from uh, his tutoring under the sky. Actually, I'm going to say no on the Great House. Um, he's a member of the Usfer dynasty. Oh, wait, I don't want, I don't want somebody, if it was the Arabid dynasty, however... Um, if he died, no, I'm just going to say the Tripoli dynasty. I haven't seen that one before that I know of. He has a claim on the Emirate of Tripoli. The Atfids. Is 
Some level one guy. I want to grant him the Emirate of Barcelona. And also the Sultanate of Aragon. Oh, damn, I just realized. None of that is de jure territory. So none of it will go with him. So the only way to alleviate this is to revoke all of their titles. Revoke all of the duchy titles here. I can't revoke that one before a certain date. Oh, I just granted. That's the one I just granted it uh, to the guy. He accepts. Now we'll grant it again. Sultanate of Aragon. Also take the Emirate of Aragon. The Emirate of Valencia. Navarra. Zaragoza. I'll transfer Urgel to him. And was he one of the ones I gave a title over here to? No, it was the Sultan of Galicia. Alright, the Umayyads and all that. So, I just realized something else. I'm going to declare another war. The Umayyads are taking care of... The Umayyads are taking care of the uh, peasant revolt that sprang up while that war was going on. But, uh, I'm going to conquer this real quick. Oh, it's... There's a... He's part of the Pagan Defense Pact. But uh, that shouldn't be too bad because he is actually a single county chief. So let's go with that instead. Or let's kiss. Let's go with that anyway. Raise ships. Is that enough? 47? Not really. Young Berta has finished her education in diplomacy. Don't know why I'm bringing all of them to a place that's further away from the troops that I'm trying to pick out. won the Peasant Revolt for Almeria. Let's split the armies in half here. Put half of them on the boats. Move the other half down here too. I'm hoping he doesn't have, he didn't hire a, he did. He hired a tribal army. Uh, he must learn on his own. I don't want him to be my rivals, or be my rival. Uh, amphibious landing into event spawn troops. Doesn't seem like a problem. Almost was a problem. Um, we have a, an inbred daughter. Okay. Uh, that's not good. I'm probably going to divorce my current wife. 
Um, we'll name her Zena. Oh crap, we get attrition penalties here. But now we don't, because it's over. And I will give it to the Sultan of Mauritania, that's Africa. Sheikdom of Canaries. What? Okay. He was involved in another war, and I guess we... We get his war? Where is he? Where's this guy? Where are his troops? Alright, um... Oh, they're down here. I can disband the fleets now. We'll go in and hopefully get out. The monument Sultan Ismail II produced, promised is finished. The statue is unveiled and it's just a bigger version of Sultan Ismail II, only slightly better looking than the real than the real one. Um, we can become bitter rivals or he gained a bunch of prestige and I have a lower opinion of him. We're probably going to take some attrition once we get down there because I think it'll still be counted as pagan land. Stay here, don't go there. Uh, my sister can marry. No, don't do that. Struggle. You're some bastard. Wrong, wrong type of holding. Hundred percent. Now we'll give uh give this to Sheikdom of Canaries. They can deal with that land. Matters of life and death. With age comes wisdom, they say, or at least it may change the questions we ask. You must, you mutter to yourself. You have had trouble sleeping lately, more often than not. While the rest of your court is sound asleep, you find yourself staring at the ceiling. You are getting older, each day closer to leaving this plane of existence. It is folly to fear such things, of course. Yet you cannot keep these feelings at bay. Didn't you used to dream of grander things? What about you carving out your own path? What happened to your ambitions? You sit up straight in your bed. This is ridiculous. You are the ruler. You have people ready to serve you or your any whim. Perhaps your counselors have ideas. If nothing else, it might ease your troubled sleeping. Uh, summon the council. A meeting of the minds. Your council convenes and the faces of your advisors speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down and the suspense is almost tangible. As you leave the question hanging in the air, finally you speak, uh, and without disclosing much of your current nightly restlessness, you convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of life and death, and I want to look into everlasting life. They nod slowly. So what do you think? The spirit rises in the room as your counselors start to talk, some hesitantly, some gesturing wildly. They all have ideas. Send my trusted Sultan, Sultan Khalil. Uh, we'll use diplomatic ties and send letters to all his confidants. Eternal life is something, surely something of interest to many a noble, and somebody has to know something. Or I trust Sultan Suleiman to handle this directly. I'd rather not make any decisions on my own. This issue is best resolved by the council. They were hired for a reason, after all. Um, let's go with my uh, 22 Intrigue Skill Spymaster, who loves me. 
a Christian priest came to my court today to talk about matters of faith, but it soon became clear he only wanted to convert us to his faith. A zealous Muslim, as a zealous Muslim, I believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison the infidel. Uh, I was still shaking with rage at the infidel's outrageous words when a Abdul Majid took the opportunity to whisper good work in my ear. All right. And there he will stay. Or we can demand his religious conversion. I think our troops got kind of messed up. Maybe? I wish there was some way to know. Is there? I think most of my camel cab is on the right. Now, I'll have to resort them later, like uh, uh, once they fully reinforce, because that's not helpful. But, uh, our decadence has down, come down to a 15%. It's pretty good. Um, but I do need to end the episode here. Hopefully, hopefully, I I think that's that is the event chain to become immortal. But I think immortality in this game is kind of a double-edged sword because you don't die, so that your kids have claims and uh, you don't. Uh, your truces don't end on your death because you again you can't die. Um, what's going on here? Conquest of Kerwan, okay? Um, but they're still working on that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I've never gotten immor immortality, but that's what I would imagine is kind of the plight of it, is uh, you can't ever pr really press your kids' claims. Well, you can, but uh, you will never actually inherit... Again, I keep saying that. Now now it's all starting to sound better to me. I don't know. I'll I'll think about it.